Uh, hi everyone, Drell here, checking in. I've been working very hard on my upcoming JRPG, and I'm preparing the Kickstarter campaign, so uh, trying to get all those details set up. I'm doing some uh, last-minute R&D before I sort of uh, decide on our final finalized stretch goals, but I just want to show you that um, I have a prototype uh, proof of concept here working, so this is basically... Um, a starting point for this JRPG on the PSP, so I can have it working, I can create a game and deploy it. The whole point is to show that I can deploy a game on the PSP hardware, and also uh, the DS. Uh, I've had to employ uh, more uh, technical solutions. Uh, what's going to happen is these will be two totally uh, separate versions. They're, they're going to be the same you know, sort of experience in terms of the story and the characters, uh, but I'll have to rebuild the game from the ground up for the DS and the PSP. And because memory is so limited on this, um, the backgrounds will be totally pre-rendered. So the backgrounds will... I kind of love that pre-rendered look, um, you know, from the 90s and the 2000s, early 2000s, when they really stopped doing the pre-rendered stuff. The sprites will be smaller on the DS. But you can see that I have that uh, working here, all working uh, as intended, and I can deploy that. And um, I just, I think this this came out just, it looks so nice, and the colors really, really pop. And the art style uh, that I created for the characters, I think it, it really um, comes into fruition here on the PSP because I designed it. I designed this art style because I want the HD version of the game to be, of course, 3D models. It's polygonal, but I designed it so I can render out those character models into sprites and they look like they would have been um, used in the late uh, 90s, in the mid to late 90s, and they look like they would have been rendered as sprites. And it has turned out just so charismatic and really vibrant. So I'm really happy with how that looks. So I'm preparing the Kickstarter so that the our base goal for Kickstarter will be uh, launch the game on the Nintendo Switch, Steam, and Atari VCS, and these will be stretch goals. So we have to reach a certain point because it's become apparent that it's going to take a significant amount of time and effort to create the unique versions for each console. That's going to take its own significant amount of work, a couple months on each one. So they will be stretch goals, and they will be free. So I won't sell this. I'll distribute the ROMs. Anything that's on a legacy console like these will be free. I'll give out the ROM, and you can play it any way that you like. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you thought that was pretty neat. And if there is a console that you want to see uh, this game launch on, you please comment and let me know now because I'm finalizing the stretch goals for Kickstarter. Uh, and I'm a, a number of people have asked about Dreamcast, so uh, I've installed a Dreamcast uh, development environment, so I can I can bring the game to Dreamcast. I'm considering um, Sega Saturn and Atari Jaguar. So let me know if there's any other. Did I say Jaguar? Jaguar. 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 Let me know if there's any other consoles that you would like to see my upcoming JRPG launch on with their own sort of exclusive port. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Talk again soon. We'll see you. Bye-bye.